guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today, 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 we are going to be recreating my first ever tutorial that I uploaded on YouTube. Mm, mm. Before we get straight into this video, I just want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, BioClarity. Their products are plant-based, 100% vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, sulfate-free, fragrance-free, and clinically proven. And honestly, you guys, I really like this stuff because it's really gentle on my extremely dry skin. And it works on lots of different skin types. They also have a little hydrating smoothie that I added to this BioClarity Clear Skin Routine at the end. So if you guys want to get 50% off your first month of the Clear Skin Routine, go ahead and click the link in my description. So I'm doing this right before I put on makeup because I always find that doing a, a nice skincare routine and making sure my skin is really well prepped before putting on makeup really helps my makeup look fresh and perfect all day long. I am so nervous about this because one, I don't have any, like I hardly have any of the same products that I did when I filmed this video and two, the makeup look that I actually did is not like glam or anything. It's actually very boring and just like, uh-uh. But uh, hey, we're just gonna do it anyway. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna try to make it look better than it did the first time, but I'm still gonna be using like the same colors, the same techniques and everything that I did two years ago. This was filmed, I believe in May of 2016 down all over my face so yeah joby 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 i we always knew you were cringy but honestly i'm still the same person i hoard these little smashbox um samplers because that's just the type of person i am I swear, like, every subscription box always gives you those little samples of the, the Smashbox primer. So I've never had to actually buy it before. I just, I have so many samples of that. And honestly, I used to hate it because it feels so slimy. But you know what? It makes your makeup look good, so I can deal with some slime on my face. Okay, and then I'm going to be using this Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation from Tarte in the color Light Beige. You guys, hold up. Let me tell you something about that foundation. That was the first foundation I had ever used in my entire life. And honestly, it was not for my skin tone. I didn't know that I had a type of skin tone where I couldn't use really matte drying products. At the time, I've always had extremely dry skin, but I didn't realize that I couldn't use stuff like Amazonian clay foundation and that it would dry me out. But now that I do know that, I'm gonna go in with something with similar coverage, but you know, not gonna dry my skin out and cling to every single dry patch in the world. Now that that's all covered and ready to go, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the color Light 16, or shade 16, or something like that. And I'm just gonna put it in a triangle underneath my eyes. I was playing some good Rihanna tunes in the background. I don't know how I didn't get copyrighted for that, but. So I, I go and I say, put it in a triangle like this, underneath your eyes. And that's the only place I put concealer. And then and then I say put concealer over any pimples. So that's what I'm gonna I got a pimple. We got a big pimple right there. Hopefully y'all can't see it on camera. <laughs> Once you have your whole face done, we're going to take any kind of setting powder. I'm using the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. And then I'm just going to dump some out in the lid. Try not to make a mess, even though I am. Always do. Always will. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and fluff it all over my face. All right, girl, you do that. 
but we're just gonna do as she says and just buff this. I'm using the shade in my- Oh, oh! Relax. You go so fast. The palette. Okay, so I'm going to take my contour brush, which is just this angled fluffy brush, and then I'm going to take this first shade right here and do the little fishy lips and contour right in that spot. So now I don't have that I don't have that Kat Von D bronzer and shade and light palette anymore, but this shade by the Balm. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my new favorite bronzer ever, but this color is very similar to the one um, in that palette. And oh my gosh, y'all, if you don't have this bronzer yet, you need to get it. But we're gonna do fishy lips and contour. And then I'm going to just bring it down on the sides and underneath the chin, just to smooth it all out. And then bring it a little bit down into these Girl, why? This part of my neck, just so that it doesn't look like, hey, why is your underneath your chin brown and not your neck? Like, that's weird. No, so I'm just gonna bring it down. Girl, you talking like you know what's going on, but. How I contour my nose is super easy. So I just squish the edges of my brush together like this to make it thin. And then I take that same color and then I just glide it along the side of my nose and then up over to my eyebrow. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I just dust it along the bottom and kind of the nostril area, just so that it looks more natural. Oh shoot, I'm sorry guys, I skipped over the blush really quick, but I already watched this video. So I know that I used a little tart blush like this. So let me pop that on real quick. Okay, so now going in with the high beam. You guys, this used to be the best thing back in the day. When I was in high school, this was the highlighter. It was the highlighter. And I still, I still love that highlighter, but that was like my holy grail back in the day. So yeah. But since I so yeah, but since I still talk like that, you guys, I'm sorry. But why am I using my hands? I was using my whole freaking hand to blend this in. Love, 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 love highlights so so much. I'm going. Oh, to she do the Becca highlight in opal, which is this beautiful gold highlighter. I'm gonna take that on my same contour brush and I'm just gonna put it on the side here. Not over where I put the high beam, but just on the sides and two eyes. So to prime them, I'm going to be using- Hold up. Why didn't I just put this all over my face to give me that most extra highlight look that I love? Girl, I don't know my, I don't, I don't know her. Lorax behind the scenes eye primer. Okay. To the eyeshadow. So, the palette I'm using today is the Naked Smoky Palette. So, I'm going to start out with the color called Combust. I'm going to use the big fluffy side of this brush. Also, I do not have that palette anymore. So, what we will be doing is pulling shades from other palettes that are similar. Okay. So this is the, what is this? This is the 35K palette, and it has a lot of similar shades as the Urban Decay, what is that, the two or the three? I don't remember what I said. But I'm just gonna take this nude color right here and just plop this all over my lid. I'm gonna take this color right here and just do exactly what I said. Blend it into the V and then up this way. armor you fluffed it out all the way out and then with the next color slanted you're going to focus it more on the inner portion okay girl if you know what you're doing i'll do that okay 
So basically the armor color is a bit darker than the one. So I use this, now I'm gonna go to this darker color. I'm gonna take the color dagger on this more not fluffy side of the brush. And then I'm just going, oh that's a lot, that's a lot. Then I'm just going to focus that right on the edge, not fully going into the inner um, crease, but on the outer crease, just like right there, and then bringing it down. It's basically the sparkly version of Combust, which is the first color that we use. And then I'm going to take it on the other side of the brush, which is not fluffy. Put it in the inner, not the inner corner, like not right here by your eye like in the inner lid area right over where we put combust okay and then we're going to take the white color which is called 13 on the same thin side and just put that right underneath your brows and all right she wants to go in with stark white under the brows that's bold that's real bold Oh, and the inner corner, and the inner corner. Okay. As I first take the Maybelline eyeliner. Okay, so I make a line that matches up with my lower lash line. And then I kind of just define it a little yeah, girl. more. Yeah, girl. And I do this two-step process thing because this eyeliner is not very dark. Oh. So I use this as my mess up eyeliner so I can oh. fix it if it looks bad. Okay. Guys, this, this perfect EDM enough. music in the back is like... like this eyeliner, which is the Absolute New York Man Eyeliner. I remember that eyeliner <laughs> is just like your brows. They're sisters, not twins. You right. Spot on, girl. Spot on. So back in the day, I did not know how to do like bold, big wings. So I just did these beauty little wings. So an ode to my YouTube channel being almost two years or two years old, I'm going to do a puny little wing. Guys, this has been a favorite of mine. This mascara has been the best. Well, not the best because I have lots of favorite mascaras, but this has been a holy grail since day one. I literally, I, I still have that lip pencil. These NYX lip pencils have come with me. They've been with me through thick and thin. I'm also going to be filling them in just because I like this color a lot. So I'm just going to be wearing it as a lipstick. Now that my lips are all filled in, I'm going to be taking this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu and just swiping it all over my lips. You. you you guys want to know why I was doing this is cuz back in the day I could not afford to buy a bunch of lipsticks so I had a couple of lipsticks and then I had a couple of lip liners and I just really liked this color a lot but I couldn't afford to go buy a lipstick that matched so I just stuck with using this and putting it all over my lips as an actual lipstick Hey, it works, but I prefer putting a lipstick on top. But hey, everybody has to start somewhere, you know. I'm going to be setting the whole look with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching and be sure to check. So this is the final makeup look. I didn't put any eyeshadow underneath my eyes or do any under eye mascara. Um, dang. Okay, Joby. Okay, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna now 
wash this off with my BioClarity stuff, my BioClarity system, and then I'm gonna go to bed. So, uh, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe. Put those notifications on to see future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.